Okay, it is nice and warm. Everybody can hear me okay? All right. We're going to go ahead and get started so that we can try to speed through this, so I apologize if it seems like we're going through things a little fast for first-time parents, new parents, um, but I don't think you want to be out here too long, so we're going to try to speed through it. If you have any questions afterwards or anything that you go home and you review things and you're like, wait, I didn't ask this, you're welcome to email us and call us at any time. For me, email is going to be best. Um, I'll reach out to you within that 24-hour time. Mrs. Rodriguez as well and Mrs. Garcia, if you have any questions. Um, all right, so we are going to start with a prayer, and we are going to say in Our Father together. So if you wouldn't mind standing up, please. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. It's not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, guys. I know it's really rough with masks on. So before we get started, I'm Mrs. C., known to the students as Mrs. C. My name is Elisa Corrubius. I am the principal here at OLPH, and this is going on my second year as principal. I have been here over seven years, so I started as the computer teacher. I actually started as Mrs. Garcia's substitute and then <laughs> filtered in to my computer teacher position and uh, then became assistant principal and recently the principal. So welcome. I'm excited to welcome all of you. I'm grateful and I thank you for being a part of our OLP family, especially to our familiar faces. You guys have been here with us. We have some returning parents. So welcome back, or uh, welcome with your, your babies, because I know some of you have graduates. So welcome back. And we thank our new parents. Um, I'm excited that you guys get to be a part of our family, and you're going to get to get a feeling of our campus, hopefully, and um, our teachers, and just the environment we have here at OLPH. It's very beautiful. We get to pray together, live our faith together. And we are so thankful for that every day, and we really do produce some beautiful students because of that. So thank you guys for joining our family. Again, this is Mrs. Alma Cervantes. She is our financial secretary. So anytime you have questions regarding tuition or payments, anything that has to do with money, she's our lady. So thank you, Alma, for being here with us tonight. I know a few parents um, she'll have to speak with this evening, not regarding just paperwork or little things we're missing. So we'll go ahead and send you to her afterwards if you need to see her. And then Mrs. Gabriela Garcia. Gabby, how long have you been here? 18 years. Mrs. Garcia has been here. Some of our parents were her students. So, um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> she doesn't look, yeah, she doesn't look her age at all. No. <laughs> I'm kidding, Gabby. Uh, but Mrs. Garcia has been here a long time. She's our kindergarten teacher, and this year our kinder and transitional kindergarten teacher. And we have Mrs. Mary Rodriguez, who wears a million hats. <laughs> she is my right hand, our assistant principal. She is the preschool program director now. She is also jumping on board with our second grade this year. So she's going to wear a million hats. I don't know how we're going to keep track of her. We couldn't to begin with. But I just want to thank them for being here this evening. And thank you guys for all your hard work. You're going to hear the word amazing from me all school year, because we were getting ready to open our doors and welcome all of you physically onto the campus. And unfortunately, we were told we couldn't, and that's OK. We'll work with it. And so our teachers jumped right into our Catholic Online Synchronous Learning Program. They began forming their online courses and their classes and didn't skip a beat. There was no griping. There was no complaints. Um, it was just like, OK, what are we doing? Let's move on it. And our teachers were in here, and they were working every day preparing for your students, especially with transitional kinder and kindergarten. It's really hard. They're young, and they're going to have to learn new behaviors, and on top of that, learn new technology. But if anybody can do it, it's kindergarten and TK. So thank you guys um, for bearing with us through that change. And I want to thank our staff, because they did an amazing job. So really quick, I'm going to jump in to our parent student handbook. You all have this in your folder this evening, and you also have the page that we will need from you at the end of the night, which is the contract page. And really quick, I'm going to touch on what's behind the contract page. 
So you will notice that you have this paper and then you have a stop at solutions paper as well. Go ahead and read through that. That is just stating to you that we do have an anonymous reporting system for any student. It's not only for our students, it's for our parents as well. Um, this is in order to curb any bullying on campus and now through the internet, through cyberbullying, any of that that takes place, you have the power to anonymously report that. You have the power to help your student anonymously re report that through a computer, through a phone. They have an app. It's a beautiful system and we have actually solved and actually taken care of a lot of different incidents that have happened here on campus. They were dealt with quickly and swiftly and so I really love this program. It was my baby bringing it to the school and it has done an amazing job of helping us um, in middle school and even with our lower level grades. So I, oh, I think I turned off. Test, test, test. I urge you, <laughs> I urge you to go ahead and read through this, download the app and check it out. Can you guys all hear me okay still? Yeah. All right, I'll be a little louder till Mr. Scott Sear, everyone, I didn't introduce him. He is our wonderful parent, and he also helps with filming or tech issues. So thank you, Mr. Sear. <laughs> really quick, you're gonna notice on page four that we have our mission statement, and I'll read that. The mission of Our Lady of Perpetual Health School, in partnership with our parish, is to create an environment that nurtures the minds and spirits of our students, helping them to experience learning, live gospel values in their daily lives, and proclaim confidence and courage the teachings of Jesus Christ. So that is a big one to us. We live by our mission statement at this school. Thank you, Scott. Again, you'll notice that we're no ordinary school. We are shaping students to be well-rounded students, not only in their academics, but their everyday life. So it really doesn't matter what faith you come from, what religion you come from, if you um, are non-denominational, we're still building strong, overall, strong students overall. So it's really something we live by here at our school. Take time to go through that. You'll notice on that next page is our school-wide learning expectations, something that our teachers always implement in their daily lessons and a guide that we go off when we give out any awards or students of, student of the month. I am going to jump here to something you all want to know, and that is our uniforms. <laughs> so, yes, we are requiring uniforms for distance learning. If you are new to our school, you have not been able to purchase uniforms, that's okay, don't worry, we're gonna work with everyone and we're gonna give everybody ample time to get those uniforms. You're more than welcome to purchase a white collared neck shirt, gray collared neck shirt, or navy collared neck shirt, and just have them wear that during distance learning. Um, as you know, uniforms are an amazing thing to implement in schools. It does curb a lot of bullying, it curbs a lot of keeping up with today's clothing um, or any inappropriate clothing. So we definitely want to continue that during distance learning. If you do have uniforms from last year, more than welcome to wear those. Obviously, we are not going to concentrate on the bottoms. If you don't have navy bottoms or the students wearing jeans, if we don't see them, we're not worried about it. So as long as the students are dressed appropriately during their Zoom classes, you will have an opportunity, though, to purchase uniforms from Norman's Uniform. They will be here next Wednesday in the gym. They will be, I, I think, did everybody here get a newsletter from me? Okay, so they will be here. If you didn't, we'll make sure you get on that list. We're having trouble with a new system, so some of our parents are not getting all of the information. But they will be here Wednesday. They will be doing temperature checks. They're asking you to only send one parent. You will have an opportunity to buy polos, shorts, whatever it is that you may need for the school year, the jumpers for math. If you have a jumper right now for the girls, they are required to wear jumpers. If you do have a jumper or you have the skirts, that's fine. They can wear that. We'll give everyone ample time to get adjusted and we'll be reviewing with the teachers on what exactly they should be wearing on which days, okay? Especially for our new uniforms or new parents. So you'll see that in the, on page 22, you'll see what's required of the girls' uniform, all the expectations and what can be worn during winter months. I ask you to review that, especially before we come back on campus because uh, shoes need to be a certain color, socks, uh, hair, things like that, okay? And the boys' uniforms on page 10, 22 as well. PE uniforms, I know a lot of parents were asking about PE uniforms. At this moment, obviously, we're not worried about PE uniforms. They will have PE classes. There will be a lot of logs they're filling out for PE. 
We're not going to see them during PE, so we're not worried about what they're wearing. However, when we do return to school, we will be giving you a heads up if we do require uniforms for PE or if they will be dressing out. And we will definitely let you know what to send them in. And we'll give everyone ample time to purchase whatever they need to. Usually we don't mind if they're navy blue mesh shorts, logo or not, and a gray t-shirt, logo or not, that doesn't matter. Solid colors are fine. If students have attended here before and they have a spirit shirt or they have a jersey from one of our sports teams, that's fine as well, okay? Yes, for the ladies, make sure you read that because our students are not allowed to have acrylic nails, nail polish, um, those fake nails. Um, their nails need to be a certain length that's obviously safe for other students on campus because they tend to play and tag each other and students will get scratched. So please make sure that the ladies don't have anything like that. And the boys also with their hair, pay attention to that in the guidelines because their hair can't be longer than a certain length. You wanna make sure they have a fresh haircut. The only time we allow long hair on any of the boys if it's a religious purpose and then they are allowed to have long hair, okay? So you just speak with us and we'll work with you on that. Um, jewelry, please don't overdo the jewelry. We don't allow the, the ladies or the gentlemen to have multiple bracelets on their wrists anklets, anything like that, so ensure that they just have simple jewelry. Okay. Oh, and simple hair color, thank you. We definitely don't want any dyed hair for our young ladies or boys. They are not allowed to have their hair dyed, so please make sure. Again, read through this. I don't want to keep you out here too long. Let's see. We are going to jump to our parent participation. So real quick, our school does mandate 20 hours of parent participation throughout the school year. We ask for three, is it three or four hours, uh, maintenance day. So you would come one Saturday out of the school year to assist us on campus to keep up with everything. And then we also require mandatory fundraisers. These fundraisers help curb um, us keeping our tuition low. So that allows us to keep tuition a little lower by you participating in the mandatory fundraisers. Now, if you don't participate in those, by the end of the school year, you are billed for those fundraisers. So they're, they're intended for you to sell your tickets and make up that money somewhere else instead of it coming out of your pocket. This year, obviously, is very different for us. Those 20 hours are on hold. The maintenance day is on hold. And um, the only thing we are going forward with are our mandatory parent meetings, and the format will most likely be Zoom until we can come back on campus together. I definitely don't want to bring you out here if it's this hot. So um, we're going to do as much as we can through Zoom. So that's just something for you to have a heads up. You will see that next year if we return to campus or if we do get to return to campus next month or the following month, depending on the requirements of us, we will implement something. So it's just something to keep in the back of your mind. They are on page 50, and you'll see all of the mandatory fundraisers and the parent participation requirements. Do I have any questions so far? You guys are awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I am not going to read any further into this. Um, definitely look at that uniform. Does anybody have questions on the uniform going forward in our online learning? Everybody's okay. If there are any concerns or issues or you say you need a little bit more time or you went to the store and couldn't find a polo, please just give us a call. Give us a call or email me and we'll make sure to work with you. We'll make sure your teacher knows that, okay? Again, when you go home today, if you read through this in your nice air-conditioned home, then <laughs> you have any questions, call us. We will need this form by the end of the night. If you still have other things that you want to review before signing this, feel free to take your time and bring this back to us, okay? So without further ado, because I know you guys are so anxious, we have Mrs. Gabriela Garcia, our kindergarten teacher. Okay, I don't, it's so hot, okay, I, don't, I don't want you guys to move, it's so I know, hot. it's so gross out here. Um, if right. I promise to talk really loud, can you hear me? Yes, yes? in the back? Yes. yes, perfect. I promise not to keep you all here for too long. My, my name is Gabriela Garcia, just like Miss, Mrs. C told you guys. Um, two things that I really want you to focus on and I want to go over it with you tonight is our platform, it's Seesaw, so that's the way that I will be communicating with you, and that is also the way that your child will be submitting work to me. So there's two apps that you need to download, hopefully tonight. That will be in here already. If you are not a kindergarten or a oh, yeah.
No, you're good, you're good, okay. Um, all the information is here, so your child login information for Zoom is right in the front. If you turn the page, their information to log into their Seesaw class app is right in the back. You, in the back, have, it's actually a second page, have your invitation to join as a family member. This is a separate app. This one is called Seesaw Family, and you will download this on your personal device, whether it be a phone or a tablet. You can do it through email as well. And this is the way that we will communicate with each other. Okay, again, this one here is class, and it should be downloaded on whatever device your child will be using to do our online studies. Okay? I will be available to you tomorrow and Friday through Zoom in case you want to test it out, play with it, have your child get on. So from 9.30 to 3.30 tomorrow and Friday, I will have it up. I will be in my classroom all day. If I'm not, it will just send you to a waiting room and then it's up to, up to you if you want to wait for me and see if I'll jump on or if you just are okay with knowing that you were able to get on and you, you log off real quick. But if you want to have your child say hi to me, look at my beautiful face without a mask, um, have them jump on and I can say hello real quick. And if you have any questions about the apps or anything, that would be a great time to ask me so that we can get all those kinks out before Monday for kindergarten and Tuesday for TK. So the dates are different. Kindergarten will meet with me Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. TK will meet with me Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays late morning. Is there any questions? I hope everything that you need to know is in here. Please review it. If you have any questions, please contact me through the app is the best way. I have the app on my phone, so I'm able to answer you right away. Um, you can always email, call the office. All that information is given to you in the letter that I provided here. The supply list is here as well, whatever they're gonna need for at home. Um, kindergarten will pick up textbooks, any writing paper, out here, they are on there already. TK will pick up their things here. Okay, question in the back? Um, so on Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, kinder, yes. Next week, we're going to have Seesaw Family. Yes. Is that going to be Seesaw Family Zoom? Yes. Yes. Okay, and then we're going to have Seesaw Family Zoom. Right. So right now, it's just ten, that's a tentative schedule until we really get to know the, ki the kids and their needs. And then, so as time goes on, then we'll give you a more detailed schedule because it will change for everybody, depending on what group we put them in or if we feel that they need one-on-one -on -one with us, then their schedules are gonna change a little bit. So once we get to know your child a little better, once we start working and we start to observe a little bit more of what they can and can't do, then we'll send out individual schedules, more detailed ones for everybody. Yes. So yes. So the beautiful thing about Seesaw is that the kids are able to do things on their own. So they will be taking pictures of their own assignments, sending them to me. However, you do have a homework assignment before Saturday uh, because I need to know who your kids are so that when they jump onto Zoom on Monday, I'm not lost and trying to wonder who this child is. So in the back, there is a back to school side of this folder. It's not, you don't have to come and drop it off. It just means that it needs to get back to me through Seesaw. So you will take a picture of it. This is the only one that you will be submitting to me through your app, through the family app. So I need your child to write their name on the bottom. It really doesn't matter how they write it. I just need to know where they are. So just have them write their name. Don't help them, please. I need to know where your child is. 
So let them write whatever. If it's scribbling, if it's pictures, it doesn't matter. They're writing their name. I will know who it is because your name will show up and I'll be able to tell who it is. There's an icon at attached to every uh, Seesaw profile. So have them pick their favorite, just one so that I can assign it to them and then have them take a picture with their face and the paper and then send it to me. It's super easy once you sign on. All you have to do is communicate with me. There's gonna be this green plus sign. You click on that and then it'll give you an option of where you wanna take the, pic the picture from. Usually it's from your phone. So you can upload it and then just send it to me from there. Okay, but like I said, you have any questions, you get on Zoom tomorrow or Friday and you ask me. Okay, yes. This, this Monday will not be their first day of school. They will also have a half day on Tuesday, just like kindergarten on Monday. So that will be their first day. We'll read a book, we'll do something fun, we'll sing a song. You guys are gonna see a side of me that you normally wouldn't. Um, just more <laughs> silly. Uh, don't, don't expect a wonderful singing voice. That's why I love the little ones because it doesn't matter how you sound or how you came into <laughs> class that day. You are always beautiful and you always sound great. So um, my head is this big when I leave that classroom every day. Um, they're beautiful, they're adorable. Um, we will have assignments, but we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll go through it. It'll be simple. There's, for TK and for kinder, it's different. We're reading different books in each class. So there is, there'll be an art project, um, some drawing, some writing, and, and they will go through the steps where they have to send the picture, and they get excited because it's like, they have to do this by themselves with this tablet. Um, talking about tablets real quick, because um, I, I see you guys, it's, we're, I'm done too. We don't have all the tablets in. Uh, if you would like to borrow one from the school, so if you don't have a tablet at home for your child and you would like to borrow one from the school, you're more than welcome to come and check one out. We will have more available on Friday but if you have a tablet already for your child at home, then we suggest that you just use the one that you have for them at home. Um, you know, we have all these blocks and all this stuff because there's full property. And so school, home ones are a little bit more lenient and you get to check. Just make sure that you're downloading the correct app. So again, for your child, it's Seesaw Class. And for you, it's Seesaw Family. Okay? Any questions? None whatsoever. Again, I'm available to you tomorrow through Zoom and really any time through Seesaw. I mean, if I have the time, my kids are sleeping and I have some extra time, I will get back to you as soon as possible through Zoom. I also have a TKer and a first grader this year. So I'm right there with you. Okay? Okay. We're good. <laughs>